It was just the sort of tie to dampen the enthusiasm generated by their emphatic victory over third division Blackpool. Remember, they were trailing by a single goal from the first leg. Newcastle manager William McFall was understandably anxious before the match. Heaven knows the state of his nerves after an amazing first three minutes. With less than 90 seconds gone, Blackpool Steve Morgan wandered forward and tried a somewhat optimistic shot. But the bounce was enough to deceive Martin Thomas. United two down now on aggregate. But before Gallagher cynics could chant, here we go again, Newcastle had responded. Gascoigne flicked the ball into the danger zone, Peter Jackson hooked it across goal, and Paul Goddard forced the ball home to level the scores on the night. But United still needed two more to take the lead overall. Enter Tyneside's favourite overseas visitor, because Newcastle's second was a mere ingenious super show. His pace saw him race onto Cornwall's punt-up field. Then his skill brought the ball under instant control and took him clean round Andy McAteer. Sheer power sent the ball rocketing past Barry Siddall. 2-2 now on aggregate with just 11 minutes gone. But the fans had to sweat it out till on the hour before Darren Jackson put United ahead. He began the move himself, working the ball wide to Paul Goddard. But before cries of handball went up when the cross came over, Jackson had swept the ball past Siddall. 3-1 now and just reward for a spirited Newcastle recovery. But Paul Gascoigne, villain of the first leg, should have killed off Blackpool. When he sprinted clear, he seemed to do everything right, only to see the ball rebound off the inside of the post. Siddall saved himself from the follow-up. Next, it was Neil McDonald's turn to set Gascoigne away. A perfect sidestep, but he couldn't produce the shot to beat Siddall. Third time lucky, perhaps, as Jackson laid on the chance, but once more Gascoigne failed to finish off excellent approach work. But with ten minutes left, he finally got his goal. Brian Tinian measured his pass, and Gascoigne showed unshakable confidence to wipe out his back pass nightmare, then treated us to the Gaza shuffle. Still time for Martin Thomas to be led off with a dislocated shoulder, just to keep McFall from relaxing. Tinian took over, but United were home and dry. Maybe now the pressure might ease on Willie McFall. I think you're going to talk about pressure all season because I'm a first division manager, they're a first division outfit. And uh, every time we lose a match, put the pressure on. You expect that. Uh, it's nice to get our second home result.